Hey guys, this is Mike from the FRC Top 25 and First Update Updates Now. We're here in the Curie Division at the 2017 St. Louis um, Championship with 4039 Makeshift Robotics. We're here with Jonathan and Angela. Guys, first off, congratulations on an amazing season. Three district wins, district chairmen's, district championship chairman's award, five blue banners. This is awesome. So congratulations first off. Um, from there, I'd like you guys to maybe talk about that, how your season has gone, and maybe talk a little bit about your robot from there. Okay, we'll start with you, Jonathan. Already for sure, yeah. Yeah, so, so five blue ban. Okay, let's. Read. So five blue banners, of course. Uh, it's quite a few for us. Uh, it's actually equal to the amount that we have in our total history, and yeah, it's been a really successful season uh, for us. And it was kind of unseen for us. Uh, we actually lost a lot of our grade 12 students, and we had to have a lot of students kind of fulfill those roles. And it was kind of a year of not really sure where we would kind of go. And once again, we had a bunch of students kind of fill in with lots of responsibility and take in these senior roles. And surprisingly, we have actually made some major accomplishments for ourselves as a team. Uh, once again, with, in regards to our robot, it kind of deals with all three game pieces. So once again, it can deal with fuel, gears, and it climbs. And it actually does have one really neat feature to itself. So we always found in previous years that controls never has enough area to work with. And it's always so crammed, there's always wiring everywhere. And so one of the really unique things about this year's robot is that our actual entire box at Shooter lifts up kind of like the hood of your car would. And inside of there exposes all of our controls, which makes it really easy to simply change, fix, or assess any problems that we may have. So, Angela, we were speaking a little bit before um, that you guys have kind of done some changes to your robot. Um, what has kind of been the inspiration for those changes, and how have you seen its effects? Yeah, for sure. So, we did take off our floor pickup recently for the fuel, and even though we really did enjoy having that feature, we decided to take it off because we knew that our climber would just not be fast enough, especially for worlds. So, we took our intake off, which actually took a lot of weight off our robot, and we decided to add this little thing here, this nice little climber. Uh, now we are able to climb in about three to four seconds when lined up. Uh, we decided to do this because we just knew that uh, it would be the right step in the right direction. When it comes after Worlds, we might put it back on, but as for right now, we knew this would be the right choice. All right, so two more questions. So first year of Ontario Districts, from your perspective, how, did, how has that gone this year? Have you guys enjoyed it, and um, what do you have to say about that? For sure, I think the layout's really cool. I think it kind of reminds me of from my little FLL experience, just kind of going through the regional, provincial, and then either the North American or World competitions. And I think it's kind of neat just to see how much the program is expanding to the point where we almost do need that district system because there are so many teams. And I really enjoyed the district competition, I think. I speak for everybody, where it was super competitive and much more competitive than any regional competition really could. So district champs, I think, was really a plus. I think. It was a great experience for everyone. Awesome. And the last question is, how do you stay competitive in such a deep field of Ontario? So you guys have done an amazing job over the, I mean, you're on the, on the newer side of teams, I guess you could say, for teams that have been there a little longer. How do you stay competitive and how do you, how do you get to that level to, to play with everybody else? Yeah, for sure. I'd say it's a combination of continuing your hard work and staying humble um, out of everything. So, for example, after a, we went to one or two uh, district events, we didn't stop there. We constantly were going to our practice field every weekend, work as hard as we can to improve our auto, to improve our shot, to improve our gear. Um, we could have had the option to just go as we were, but we would like to improve. Um, and in terms of staying humble, no matter how many blue banners you get, no matter what happens during your season, at the end of the day, everybody deserves to go to the events and you're just having fun. Everything is for experience and if it goes your way, then it goes your way. If not, just have fun and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sure. So one quick thing also that kind of helps us is teams helping with each other. And what I mean by that is we have a practice field that we share with many other teams and we all go there. It's called the Robodrome and we all work together and we all help each other out to find unique solutions. And it's also very unique because you can actually compete against each other and kind of get a little pre-competition kind of uh, strategy kind of going between each other. 
Awesome. Well, that was great. So your blue banner show it, but you guys are an awesome team. Everybody loves you. Everybody has such great things to say about makeshift robotics. You guys make a little special place in everybody's heart that you meet. So um, a special team here you guys have. Thank you so much for this interview. Um, good luck the rest of the way and good luck tomorrow. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Group hug. We'll take it. <laughs> Thanks, guys.